Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to help you resolve if you're coming across an issue with your printer that says that the printer requires your attention. Please check the printer. So, what can this mean? It can mean a lot of different things. First thing I recommend doing would be actually to go onto the internet and search for your specific printer make and model and see when you add the error message on the end of that search result if there are any relevant results that come up on how to resolve that issue. Very good chance there's a specific printer error that requires a specific troubleshooting method that may involve the printer itself. So that's the very first thing I would try doing. The second thing, if you're not coming up with any results or if you tried those methods and it's not producing the desired outcome, Something else we can try as well would be to do some troubleshooting methods within Windows itself. Make sure you do power cycle the printer as well as the computer, so just turn them off and on again to do a full power cycle. And just try that before you proceed with this tutorial. It might be a very simple fix, so I'd recommend trying that first. Next thing I want to try going into here would be to open up the search menu, type in troubleshoot, type in troubleshoot, Best match, you'll come back with Troubleshoot Settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the right side underneath Options, select Other Troubleshooters. And then underneath Most Frequent, select the Printer Troubleshooter and the Run button. Select Yes. And then again, follow along with the prompts it provides on this screen here. So I'm actually going to go back into Run. I accidentally selected Yes, that it actually fixed the problem. So I'm going to select No. And then it's going to go ahead and check some other issues here. So just give it a moment. And it looks like it diagnosed it. And if you're having further issues, again, just follow along with the prompts here. And that does restart the Print Explorer service, or it's supposed to. But we can also try doing that manually as well. So you close out of there and open up the search menu. Type in Services. Best match. Should come back with Services. Go ahead and open that up. Go down to the Print Spooler service. And double-click on it. Stop the service if it's currently running. And then go ahead and select Start. Even if it is running, I would select Stop and then Started. So just do a full cycle for that. And then once that's done, go ahead and select Apply and OK. And hopefully at this point, you should be good to go. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.